So I've got the table forward now. To you can see it's uh, partially it's it's quite a bit forward, just enough to get to the um, lead screw nut down there. Uh, I used one, two, three blocks as spacers because for some reason it didn't want. I guess I could have adjusted the uh, uh, gibs, but didn't. So it, it would took a little bit of finesse. Um, to get it all the way. This um, power feed shaft is not keyed as you can tell all the way to the end but it is keyed along here. You can see that. So what you need to do is knock out the uh, shear pin right here. Don't try to back the table off with the uh, with the screw without doing that first. And um, let's see how I can give you a shot of the underside of the table here. Um, just like these, uh, just like these cap uh, Allen head cap screws securing this front um, lead screw support hand wheel support plate uh, are five sixteenths. These are also 5 16ths uh, as well so they come off easily enough first before I do that I'll back out the uh, hand wheel the rest of the way back out the lead screw rather so that's the lead screws now out now we've got easy access to the nut And this lead screw nut is kind of so. Here's the lead screw nut. You can see the thread wear is quite bad in there. Show the the underside of the table here too. So after I've cleaned up the lead screw and the nut. Um, gotta say this uh, this is a very golden colored material so I'm assuming bronze. Um, you can see here it's stamped uh, GG Machine Company, George Gorton Machine Company. Um, yeah I'm assuming bronze I'm, I'm not sure you know what kind but I've got it here kind of in the center, towards the center of the screw where the wear is the worst and I mean you can see there's just a ton of, uh, ton of play. Uh, it, it, it's really bad. So anyways, um, you know looking at this I'm thinking um, it might be possible to um, yeah, you know, I, I was I was hoping that there'd be a little bit more material to work with uh, to be able to bore this out and pop a a sleeve in there, you know, just a sleeved Acme uh, nut. Um, and I guess that that would that's still possible, um, but the fact that this is bronze and the fact that it's a bit thinner walled than I was originally expecting, uh, I'm thinking maybe I'll end up uh, coming up with a you know potentially a different a different idea so I've um, removed the Y feed screw and moved the table I didn't remove the table um, entirely uh, but I just racked it all the way to the left and then um, took the screw almost all the way out <clears throat> So let's see. Um, I wanted to kind of document um, what's under the table for you guys, especially anybody planning on doing CNC stuff in the future, ball screws, etc. You can see my lead screw nut is cracked where it mounts, where the the two cap screws run through it. Um, and then there's a pin. I'm not sure if that pin um, 
is original or if that was uh, I'm not really sure what that what that's um, all about. So I wanted to show you the condition of my X screw and I guess brag a little bit. Um, this is pretty much the end. I think that the the screw ends right about here. Um, uh, so it's in pretty good shape. Um, Got to take you down the screw. You know there is a bit of wear. I mean almost nowhere um, on the X screw. Okay, maybe a little bit looking at looking at these threads, but I mean it, it's in pretty good shape. Um, yeah, somebody somebody also drilled out um, and just put a um, put a pin through this. Uh, usually, the those collars are mounted with a set screw. Um, so there's just some more evidence of repairs. But this, um, I'm guessing, this is the original lead screw um, so the Y axis is uh, in pretty poor shape and the X axis looks pretty good uh, I'll toss the hand wheel on this and show you the what's going on with the mechanisms here and then this is the this this bit right here is um, the engages the directions of the power feed um, that's to run the table to the left uh, and it actually doesn't want to engage right there there we go yeah. there we go and that engages it to the right left right left right and then neutral um, and uh, these are um, the 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 lead screw, well, where is the spline? <laughs> the spline's like all the way um, underneath here. Um, it's 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 got a a milled key that runs the length of the shaft, and that's what these gears uh, engage. Um, on this side, this is just the um, the gear that transfers power off of the power feed. So that actually is freewheeling, it's not keyed. Um, but then this, this piece is, uh, and then so is, so is this gear. Yeah, the, um, the table itself are the, the ways, I mean, I don't really know how to tell what's good and, and what's not good. I know it's, it's not good when you can't see um, any of the scraping marks. And in this case, let me see if I can get that focused. Not sure what happened there. That's it's no good. But you can see the um, some of the scraping marks. But on the very end, it's it's grooved and very much worn down. It's the same on the other side. Um, also, this is informative. Um, this. Uh, oil cup feeds the uh, lead screw nut so that's if you're at the back of the machine standing by the uh, the knee uh, the knee wheel it's the second one um, second one over